Hey, how's it going guys? So here we have the semi the quarterfinals of the Fresno League Cup that happened this weekend. Uh, on your left, you have me, David Benitez, aka Pokemon Hero. And on your right, you have, I had his name right here, Antonio Rios, which is, he's playing uh, Zoroark Lycanroc. He named it the Puppies. Uh, he's He won a bunch of League Cups before with it last season. And he's back again here in top cut playing against me. I'm playing Ray Bickavolt with Ultra Beast. I've already said this enough. It's a bad deck. Do not build this deck. I I made it this far by luck base, and you're gonna see as as you watch this match, I'm gonna win by luck base. So I start off with an Ultra Ball, get rid of a Beast Ring and a Grass Energy, I get another Grubbin, play another Ultra Ball, get a Rayquaza, play the Lele, I'm gonna search my deck, I get a Cynthia. So the reason behind this is sequencing. Uh, I want to play the Lilith first so I can get the Cynthia so I don't mill it. So then I have, um, so I'm able to play the supporter afterwards. I already put a Grass Energy in the discard pile with Ultra Ball. So this Ray is live and active with that energy. I'm going to Cynthia for six. And I'm going to get a fresh hand. So I have six cards in my hand. Uh, I'm going to play a Ray. I mill three. I get an energy. I'll attach an energy to a Ray on the bench and I pass. Uh, we see a nest ball. We see two nest balls from uh, Antonio. Searching his deck, trying to figure out what he has in his deck so far. What's prize? He, he's going for two Zoras, trying to get that Zorark started so he can maximize his draw engine. Uh, we see a Mallow. Kind of unfortunate that he has to play Mallow so early in, so early in the match. Um, Mallow is usually like a mid game, late game kind of thing. You want to get those two things that are going to let you go off. So yeah, so he's going to grab two things. He's going to put them on top of his deck. And then he passes. So I get a rescue stretcher. I get an energy on the Rayquaza. Uh, I grab, I picked up Lele with Rescue Treacher, played Cynthia, gonna shuffle, gonna draw six. So right now I'm counting like the cards in my hand because I'm trying to figure out what the best play is. And I pass. The best play was for me to pass. <laughs> so we see a Zorg, we see a trade. Here you see me using the get good dice to keep track of what's going on. We see a DC on the, on the rock rough on the bench and we see a Cynthia from Antonio. See another Zoark. And we see a trade. We, need a, we see another Zora and he passes. So I put attach an energy to the recalls on the bench and I pass. Pretty much stuck. So this is the issue I was having yesterday. If I got stuck, I was stuck. There's nothing I can do, and I was, I was kind of risking him, attacking me, free willy, free free will. So yeah. So we do see a Guzma. We see Ultra Ball. From Antonio, goes for Zorark. Uh, we see the Lycan Rock. He uses the GX Dangerous Rug, knocks out my Rayquaza. So here I am counting because I'm trying to figure out that I need seven energies. There's only one way for me to get seven energies. It's a Choice Ban and two Vicar Volts. And I have the choice pen in hand and I attach, so I play Ultra Ball, gets rid of I get rid of the Rayquaza and the and the Rescue Stretcher, I go for Feramosa. 
I Ferramosa for with Beast Energy. I bring up the Ferramosa, I use the GX, and I get a knockout on the Lycan Rock. I'm telling you right now, that was the only time I used Ferramosa. <laughs> Didn't use it in any of my other matches. So he brings up Zoroark. Uh, we see trade. We see another trade. Antonio Guzma's up the. Or no. Yeah. Did he Guzma? Uh. DC on the Zorark. See, Choice Pen, so he does 130. So I play Mysterious Treasure, get rid of the Vicavolt, search for Larios. And I end up passing. So we see energy attached on the Lycanroc on the bench on Antonio's side. We see trade, trade. Choice spent on the Zorark on the bench and knocks out my Rayquaza. Bring up Hermosa, do Rare Candy, um, Vicavolt, Energy Recycler, and get five energies back into the deck. Then Strong Charge, two energies on Lele. And then 60 in Confusion. Daddy! What do I need to do to? And he ends up taking game one. So we're gonna go into game two. So game one was rough. I, I just I couldn't get a Vicable and I think that was the issue I was having all day. Uh, I just I wasn't winning with Vicable. I was just running straight Ray. Um, that was tough. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna go into game two and hopefully I turn it around and get a win, at least one win. That's all we really need. So I start off a basic, I'm gonna go first. I start off the Grubbin again. I get a Lele into a Vicavo into a Lele into a Volkner. Mysterious treasure for Ray. And then Ray, mill three, get the energy back, attach an energy for the turn. And I end up passing. So we're going to see Apricot Maker from Antonio's side. It's going to go for a Nest Ball. Two Nest Balls. Goes for a Zora and a Rock Ruff. So attach an energy to the rock roof on the bench and passes. Attach an energy to the Rayquaza. I play Cynthia, so I'm gonna shuffle. I 
uh, mysterious treasure so discard search I get a ray play the ray discard attach an energy I go ultra ball get the vehicle ball in the discard pile go for a Rangaroo which is what I should have done last game and that probably would have won me the match um, I've learned with this deck, a Ranguru gets abused. I make a Ranguru work. And it's just because it fits my playstyle. So, Pat Pat, get a Volkner and a Cynthia. And I end up passing. So, we, see, we do see the Lycan Rock. He's not going to use the effect. Now we see a Cynthia from him. Timer ball. Ends up getting one heads. Goes for Zork. See trade. DC and knocks out the Grubbin. I bring up Ray and I start counting. I go for Lele, go for Cynthia. I play Ray. So I'm gonna mill three, touch an energy. I rank for two and then play Cynthia. So I have, I have. One, two, three, four energies, a choice, oh, one, two, three, four, five, five energies and a choice pen. I need, I need two more energies. There's an energy attached and that's a knockout. Uh, yeah, six, seven. So perfect. It brings up Lycan Rock. And uses his GX, knocks out my Rayquaza. So I go Rescue Stretcher, bring back Garabin. Cynthia, shuffle. I'm going to draw six. A choice pen, one, two, three, four. So I do one fifty. We see that resource management or angry on the bench. We see Nest Ball for Azura. Acerola picks up the the Lycan Rock, plays down the Rock Ruff. A few blurs the choice fan away. We see an energy attached to Orangaroo and does resource management. So I draw for turn. I play Volkner, go for Rare Candy uh, Lightning. Play Volkner, or play Rare Candy into Vicavolt. Uh, strong Charge, two energies on the Rayquaza on the bench. One energy on the Lele, and I get a knockout on the Orangaroo. So now he's he's kind of behind because he has no energy on the board, so he has to kind of catch up, which is good for me. So we do see um, Guzma, and he Guzmas into another Zora. At this point, he's just trying to stall me, trying to build up his setup again. Uh, puts an energy on Rockruff and passes, so I Guzma back up the Rockruff, and I knock out the Rockruff. Uh, we see Zora come up. Uh, we are going to see Apricot Maker from Antonio's side. He's going to get a Timer Ball and maybe an Ultra Ball. Timer Ball and Ultra Ball. So he's going to play Timer Ball. Uh, and 
ends up searching, gets a Zoroark, uh, gets two Zoroarks. So now he's pretty much set up, not set up completely, but he's at a point where he can kind of like start digging to get his energy. So we do see two Zoroarks come out. Uh, we are going to see a trade. We're going to see a second trade. And he scoops and we're going to go into game three. So I end up winning that one. And I'm telling you guys, this matchup was hard. Like I think it was one of my most stressful matches and then, and like other matches throughout the day. But it's evenly match. Uh, Zoro Rock is still pretty strong. It has that disruption with enhanced hammers and stuff like that. But Rayquaza is also just coming in and hitting hard. Like, if you don't take care of those Vika Volts, like, they can become very, very annoying. So, yeah. So, we're about to get into game three. So we're going into game three. He's going to start off. We both start off a Rangaroo. Uh, obviously, I'm playing the better Rangaroo. I'm just kidding. Um, he does play Cynthia. So he's going to shuffle up his hand and then draw six cards. Goes for Nest Ball. Gets Azura. Uh, Ultra Ball gets rid of a Judge and something else. Gets a Zora. Right. Trying to get those Zoroarks up and running so then he can maximize his trade. So he passes. Alright, we're gonna see an ultra ball for me. I get rid of a, gra a lightning energy and a choice pan. I get a grubbin. I go for ultra ball. Get a Rayquaza. Play Cynthia, and I search. And then I play Ray, I get an energy, put it on the Rayquaza, and then I shuffle up and I draw a six with Cynthia. But I messed up because I only had the one card, so I should have Orangarooed, possibly getting like extra cards. So I attach an energy to the Ray on the bench and I pass. So Antonio plays a Zoroark from his hand. Uh, play Cynthia, so he's going to shuffle, draw six. Uh, traded. Uh, we see Ultra Ball. Goes for discards Guzma. Cynthia goes for a rock rough. So in this match, I started learning that I can't overextend because I get punished with the uh, Lycan Rock. So that's kind of what I did. I just didn't overextend. Uh, Volkner going for the Lightning and the Ultra Ball. Threw away the Candy and the Fermosa. Got the Vicavolt. Uh, rare candy into the Vicavolt, attach an energy for the turn, uh, strong charge onto the Rangaroo, I retreated, and I'm one short, so 
out. I Rangaroot for the Rayquaza, which is busted. Rayquaza for the one energy, and I get the knockout. But here's where I could get punished, but I don't know if I do. We're going to see. Because he can just evolve into Lycanroc and then just come in and swing at me. But yeah. So we see Malo. So we do see him going for that fighting energy. More than likely going to go for the fighting energy and the Lycanroc. And I think he goes for the Vicavolt if I remember correctly. But yeah. Which either one. If he kills this Ray or goes for the Vicavolt. Like they hurt. But the Vicavolt is a long term effect. But yeah. So we do see the Lycanroc does go for the Vicavolt and then Claw Slashes for the Knockout. So here I start counting again. So I need 7. So the way that I was running this deck in my head, so I'm just going to give you my point of view. I was just counting. Like I was just crunching numbers, thinking of possibilities of me drawing what I needed to draw. So yeah. So I do Mysterious Treasure. I think I go for the Ray to get another energy. And then I Rangaru. And I and I top that like a boss. Uh, so Ray. So I mill three. Get the energy on the Ray. I play a Grubbin. Then Uh, Volkner for energy uh, choice fan, energy on the ray, and then the choice fan for the knockout. So then Antonio brings a Zoroark, trades. Uh, we do see Pow Pad from him. You see a rescue stretcher bringing back that Orangaroo. We're going to see a Guzma. And brings up my Orangaroo. And he goes resource management. So I attach energy to the Rayquaza. And I play copycat. For one. Which is all I really need. And then I research I Orangaroo for two. And I pass. I was able to do it before where I rare candied uh Vicavolt like a boss, but uh I think here I ran <laughs> I ran out of candies and I didn't notice until later. But yeah. So he plays Timer Ball, or gets Timer Ball with Apricot Maker. Then trades, trades. Uh, we do see Field Blower. Uh, we do see Cynthia, Energy. Guzma's up, I uh, Guzma up the Zoroark. And I knock it out. So at this point, he's at five. I'm at one prize. Like, he's, it doesn't matter what happens. I have enough energies on the board where I can one shot, two shot things. And there's no way he can one shot my Ray. So I pretty much I win it. He Guzmas up my, my Orangaroo. And there's resource management. So it comes down to what I play. So I play Ultra Ball. I get Zergatry. I 
But yeah, and and the pass, he ends up scooping because he realizes that that was already set up. There was no way for him to come back. But yeah, so that was it. So that is the fine that that's the end of the quarter the quarterfinals at the Fresno League Cup. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share the video with anybody that's interested in how the quarterfinals of the Fresno League Cup went. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And guys, thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.